YOLO V8 can seemingly perform any task, be it classification, detection, segmentation, tracking, or pose. Previously, we trained detection and segmentation models on a custom data set. Links to those videos in the description. And today, we'll see how to train the YOLO V8 models on a custom pose data set. Hey there, welcome to Learn Open CV. We will be using the Stanford DOGS data set for our training. It consists of 12,538 images, which is split into 6,773 train, 4,062 validation, and 1,703 test images. The key point annotations are provided across 24 key points of dog pose. Three for each leg, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, 10, 11. Two for the tail, 12 and 13. Two for each year, 14, 15, 18, and 19. One for the nose, which is 16, one for jaw, 17, one for each eye, 20 and 21, one for withers, 22, and one for throat, 23. The data set also contains the bounding box coordinates of the dog. That being said, the data set is riddled with anomalies. Say, if there are multiple dogs, only single instance annotations are given. The bounding box and the key points are annotated for two different object instances and the key points are being incorrectly annotated. Check out the blog post to know how to handle the annotation anomalies. Link in description. Here is a sample dataset annotation, which is provided in JSON format. Each entry is a dictionary containing the image and annotation information. Image information being the image path, image width and height, the bounding box coordinates, a Boolean flag to state whether there are multiple dogs in the image, and the key point data. It has X, Y coordinate and a visibility flag for the key point. Zero for not visible and one for visible. The annotation also has segmentation mask in RLE format, but we'll skip it. Now, YOLO V8 does not input JSON format data. It inputs data in YOLO format, which follows that each image has a corresponding text file of the same name and a .txt extension. And then each row in the text file corresponds to one object instance in the image. And finally, each row contains the object class index, object center coordinates xc and yc, object width and height, and the key point coordinates p1x, p1y with the visibility flag. Now let's take this dataset to Google Colab and train Yoluviate models. To get the code and follow along with me, open the blog post link from the description then click on the download code banner, fill your details and hit enter. While you're here, open and fill this Google form as well. This form will give you access to the annotations. You'll receive an email with a GitHub link, open the link and click on the download code button. Let's get started. Let's connect the notebook and check which GPU we are getting. I do hope I get a 100 GPU this time. After the GPU gets initialized, Upload the annotations and install Ultralytics. Here are the input commands. And then we have a function to download the dataset files and extract the tarball. Now this is the images URL and the annotations URL. We'll call the function twice and pass both the URLs to the function one by one. After extracting all the files, this is what our directory structure should look like. The images folder will have a docs folder inside which all the docs images will be present. Now we will load the train and test image indices which we will use for training and validation and restructure our dataset so that it will be accepted by YOLO V8. Here we get all the image paths and create folders for it. And then we get the train and validation indices. Then we will simply copy these images from the indices to the newly created directories. But we are not done yet. Next, we need to convert the annotations to the YOLO format. Create YOLO boxes key points will modify the visibility flag, normalize and convert the bounding box and normalize the key point coordinates. The function returns the bounding box and the key points. And with the next function, we will create the .txt files. Here we are calling the above defined function and finally we create the YOLO text files. There, now we have a dataset in YOLO format. Next, 
data visualization functions. The CSV file that we downloaded earlier maps the key points and gives us the color for each point. Now we need to annotate the key points and the bounding boxes on the image. We write two functions for this, draw landmarks and draw boxes. These are basic OpenCV functions and Python code. If you're finding it difficult to follow and understand, you should check out OpenCV University's free OpenCV Bootcamp and Python Bootcamp. Go to opencv.org slash university slash free courses to know more. Next, visualize annotations is a driver function which calls draw boxes and draw landmarks. And here are a few visualizations. Now, on to training configurations. So, we need the dataset YAML file, the model we'll be training, number of epochs to train for, which we will reduce to one for now, our key point shape, which is 24 key points with X, Y and visibility for each. Then we have the project name, the experiment name and the class names. Next is the dataset configuration, which is the input image size that is to be fed to the model, number of batches to feed, and the transformations like mosaic and flipping. Now create the train config and the data config objects. And remember we provided the dataset YAML file for training config? Yeah, we actually need to create the file. So pass the dataset path, the train images and validation images directory, the class names and the key point shape and dump it to the YAML file. Now we start training. So we get the model train and we call the function model.train and pass all the configurations to it. Run this code and get yourself a coffee or don't just stare at the screen. To know more about this console log, you should check our previous videos on custom training. Now to evaluate, we load our best trained model, which is of the first epoch, and uh, check the model metrics. You should know that we have only trained for one epoch. It is bound to give bad results. In reality, you are supposed to train the model till you get your desired accuracy levels. But anyway, let's run a few predictions. This function runs the prediction, whereas this is the driver code. Let's check our results. And they are horrible. Absolutely horrible. I'll post better results on the screen, which has been predicted with the model that has been trained for 100 epochs. That's all about pose estimation with YOLO V8 models. If you like this video, why don't you check out AI for Ocean Cleanup with the YOLO V8 segmentation models or other videos in the YOLO Masterclass playlist. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.